Hey guys, welcome to this class. Today we are going to learn how to remove an element from an array with JavaScript. So here I have a HTML file linking a script that I will do the code. So it's a basic HTML just with the purpose to learn how to remove an element from an array, okay? So we have many ways to remove an element. First is with pop. The method pop, it's a method for arrays, okay? We also have shift and splice, okay? These three methods can remove elements from array. So first, let's learn pop. So I will create an array with const, okay? And I will put five elements in the array. Uh, just these numbers to, to keep it simple and focus on the element removal okay so we can apply pop to the array like using the method in array and this variable will change with the effect of the pop method so this method will remove the last element of an array okay so if you we log this variable with console log we are not gonna have five and more so i will log before applying pop and after applying pop. And to see this in practice, we need to open the file in our browser. I will click with the right button and open with this extension called Live Server. You can download in the marketplace of VS Code. Just type Live Server here and you can download this extension. And now you can launch a server just clicking the right button in the file, in the HTML file, and open with live server. So now the browser opens with our file and we can see the results of our code. So first we have the array with five elements, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And after pop, we have just four elements without five. So this is the effect of pop in our array. It removes the last element of an array. And now with shift, we can remove the element in the beginning of the array. I will create another array, okay? The same elements. You can log it before the removal and after the removal. So I will apply shift to the array and this modifies the structure of the array. We, can, we don't need to assign this again to the variable it will modify the value of this variable. So now if you log again this, you just need to put the correct name of the variable, okay? And now if you, we go to the browser, you can see the second array hasn't the first number and more because we removed this with shift. So you can say that shift removes the first element, okay? And now with splice, what can we do with splice? We can remove an interval or just an element from an array, okay? I will create again another variable uh, with the same elements and apply the splice. First log the r3 variable, okay? And now apply the splice. But here we have a difference. With splice, we need to choose the element by its index. So in a race, the first index is zero. So we can say one is index zero, two is index one, three is index two, and so on. Okay. So let's say we want to remove the number three. We need to pass the index two here. Okay. And after that, we need to pass also the number of elements we want to remove. So here in this case is one. So we will remove the second index and one element, counting from the second index and just one element, okay? So if we log here, the same variable again, we can see the difference on the browser. Note here, we don't have in the second log the number three because we removed by the index. So, capitulating. If we want to remove the last element, we can use pop, okay? The method pop. 
If you want to remove the first element, we can remove, we can use shift. And if we want to remove an X specific element, we need to use splice because it allows us to choose an element by its index. And we know that the index starts counting by zero. So the number two here is the first index, okay? As we have moved here, the second index is the number three. So guys, this is it for removing an element for an array. Hope you enjoyed this class. And if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel. It's very important to me. Leave a comment below about a topic you want to see in the next videos. And that's it. See you in the next class.